If you make mistakes, you gotta rectify it right away. Mm -hmm. Sort of matchup right here. And Ray is patient. Ray is very consistent. So if he gets in, he's gonna have to get in and stay in to keep this going. All right, starting on PS2. Now, these guys already fought previously. Utopian Ray is the one that actually sent Mr. E to losers. So this is technically their second set they're playing today. Mm -hmm. So honestly, things are looking kind of in Ray's favor based on that alone. But who knows? Maybe Mr. E like powered up, he leveled up in the yeah. side of the bracket. Like something but changed because, especially because he hasn't left the seat yet. He's like staying, staying in that hot seat. He's keeping Yo. all that momentum. That's actually a thing. That's a solid point right there. Actually, he's got that uh, hyperbolic time chamber seat going on. He's getting hundred years of training in a single set. But can he adapt? Mr. E has been very on top of his adaptations tonight so far. Can he come back? And take his demon down. We'll find oh, out. We shall see. There he goes, trying to go for that trump. A little bit too late on that. Has him off stage. It's gonna be hard to like try to find. It's gonna be completely different than from like trying to edge guard Pac-Man in the previous set. Mm -hmm. He's got because uh, Palutena has the ability to just be able to warp, get back on the stage instead yes. of trying to like go off stage and challenge her with the porter. She just kind of has a nope. Just going back to stage now. Not only that, but going off to challenge against Palutena means giving up stage control because she can do that warp back. Very difficult to punish for most characters. Even fast characters can get, you know, only so much off of it. Okay, explosive flame, early up B, doesn't have a jump, so a very awkward scenario. Ray with the good edge guard. Yeah, great bait coming out from Ray. You saw him immediately following him, following his distance. Over the double jumps into the fast fall. All right, flares for the parry there. Uh, Marcina, a lot of single hits, and the double hits that she does have can be beaten out with single hit parries, so it is something to go for in the matchups like this. Gets him with the up tilt, and it kills off the top. Holy cow. Sent flying into space. Flying. So still very even here. Both of these characters are pretty good on conversions. Palutena probably a little bit better, but um, Mystery's still making it work here. Tying up the percents. Oh, going for a lot of empty stuff right here. He doesn't want to bait out too much. All right, Dash Tech could have been punished, but didn't quite have it on stage then. That was actually a forward tilt. Oh, that uh, was yeah, a forward yeah. tilt? Oh, yeah. my mistake. The out of the, yeah. Yes. Way safer option. Oh, Ooh. my. Ooh. That was intelligent, though. I, I'm almost mad at that, but I respect Utopian Ray for going for that. <laughs> my god. Ray, when he has those creative punishes on hand, you know they're like, this what? isn't an... This isn't like, oh, I just barely got it. He knows. Wind he knows are powerful, dog. Absolutely. No, not again. Okay, okay. Okay. A second time. Oh. Not, not quite the spacing he needed, but I don't think Mr. Oh, he, wanted the, he wanted the spike too. Ray is going all in. He's like, no, this is my tournament. I, like, <laughs> we may have been building like this underdog story for Mystery to like come up and win this tournament, but Ray is having none of that right now. No, absolutely. And Ray not taking a single Xeno himself. That almost killed has a little bit of an underdog story of his own, only separated now by the winners and losers side next to their name. So, we will see. There we go, forward tilt just to punish that whiff dash attack. Yep, threatens off stage, doesn't want to go too far and tries to catch any potential warps, does get thrown off. All right, explosive flame just whiffing, and Mr. E keeping his jump, that's very smart. You don't want to burn it against Palutena if you can help it. All right, there we go. Ooh, up tilt. Slow falling down, explosive flame. Oh, go down there. Yo, clips him coming up off the ledge, there though. There we go. All right. This is really difficult, though. Raise Palutena, very safe, not too committal, and he only needs to throw out a couple options like that. Dancing Blade, a very punishable option. You know, Mr. E, uh, Ray was just saying there, trying to catch him with the up smash as well. Yep, looks for the juggle, just barely dodges out of the way of that grab. That was very smart to keep out of the way. And now, that's a full punish. Ray, Ray has him at that percent where if he manages to catch an explosive flame at this point, that's going to be uh, Mystery stock. Yep, that's it. All Basically those with bears. back airs. There's, uh, you saw Mystery trying to like go in between the back airs to catch it. That's such a back air is an extremely safe option. Let's, wa let's watch these back airs really clo clo close. Yes. Right here, right here. Gets the one, two. Throwing them out again so, and again. He tried to let go of shield to go for that third punish right there. Mm -hmm. I don't think that shield I've, poked. That, no, no, I think that was a shield poke. I don't think that was released unless he was jumping out of it shield It looks there. like he's letting go of shield like a frame before. I think it would have shield poked and he recognized it was going to hit his head. So he let go of shield to try to react. He dropped it? Yeah, he definitely dropped it. Look at him. He drops the shield. Hey, look at that. He dropped the shield right oh, there. There's a frame. Shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would have thought that would have come out with I the parry then, because I think honestly, parry's frame one. Honestly, I think he would have uh, shield poked anyways. Like yeah, that's the thing. That yeah. was, um, I think parry out was the only thing to do there, and even if he had gotten that parry, that's not a very strong punish, yeah. but interesting. 
you can ask him out of the game. But going to game two now, uh, counter pick to, I always forget, is this Yoshi's story or island? Story? Okay. Yeah, story. One of these days, I will come to The thing is, I just, I just say Yoshi's Melee, Yoshi's Brawl. That's, that's <laughs> how I remember. Because I, okay. I know that this is definitely Melee. And I know the other one's definitely Brawl. Yep. No Randall in sight, so we've got no support for these two ladies. It's going to be whoever can duke it out the best. Yeah, so Ray, Rest in peace, Cloud. Ray, yeah, right. I mean, Cloud's still in the game. Oh, yeah. yeah Randall, Rest in, Rest Randall in evolved the in, OG Cloud. Randall evolved into a sword fighter. But here we go, <laughs> into one game away from Ray taking home the entire tournament of Xeno 151. Remember, guys, this is best two of three because we want to go home. It is Wednesday night, almost midnight, almost Thursday morning. We got work in the morning. Mm -hmm. Can't have any of that. But see, Mr. E... I think, in my heart of hearts, that he feels it. He knows I've been on fire today. I can't go home with second place. Not like this. I am going to fight. Did you so, recognize Mystery was trying to go for that fadeaway up air? Because it really goes good. for it again. Oh, no. It's really, Get really out getting out of him here. hurt here. Ray's been on point with just catching these uh, offstage edge guards, mm -hmm. these forward airs. And this calls back to what I was saying before. Mystery going for a lot of... Um, I suppose what I would call oddly placed uh, uppies, like the early dolphin slashes, things like that, maybe to try to catch an aggressive option from Ray, but he doesn't necessarily need to have an aggressive option on the board. Right now he can play patient, especially with this stock lead. That nearly went away when I said it. Maybe I'll, uh... Oh, there we go, catches the roll on stage. Not enough to get the kill just yet, 173%. Yep, auto reticle adding on like one or 2% more there, still very even. Fantastic patience from Mystery. You saw him just waiting on the middle of the stage until Utopian Ray opted to go for the kind of a greedy warp to the middle of the stage, where Mystery was waiting. Yep. Mr. E has been threatening the off stage a lot and only occasionally going for it. So I think then uh, Ray finally took the bait and he managed to get the punish on him. All right. Footsies, neutral. It's very difficult to get in on Lucina unless you're like, you've got a good feel for her. All right. Oh, oh, that is a punish. All right, gets a little bit aggressive on there. That fair would have done wonders, not quite. Goddess Wings is punishable on whiff from that range. One the, the smash four. <laughs> Honestly, that was just mashing coming out for Mystery. You saw him just swing that sword as hard as he can. Now Ray's starting to do it too with these up airs, just trying to catch these landings. Has him off stage again, gonna go super deep in the yeah, back. No yeah, another kill off this left side. The second you catch your opponent without the resources to be able to recover back on the stage, you just gotta go off there. There it is. <gasps> no, that could have been it. Oh, yeah. Mystery reacted a little too late. Mm -hmm. Wasn't recognized what was going on. Yep. He's, he's, he's running out of steam. I th I, this is looking like Mystery's running out of steam and Ray is just dominating. No, 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 no. The, we're looking, what we're looking at here is an opportunity to gain a second win. And I yeah. truly believe. Okay, interesting option there that does get you up a little bit faster than a normal neutral getup, but does put you in a lot more punishable frames. Okay, I, think if, I think if Mystery takes a stock like soon, like in the next five seconds, he can win this game. Yes. But it might be a little bit too late for him to catch the second win because now these neutralizers are starting to come out. Yeah. And did try to get the punish on the neutral air, but that move is pretty safe on shield. All right. Waiting. Auto reticle. He wants him to come in. Come to me. Let me get this Mr. Percent. <laughs> Mr. Percent, Mr. E. Yes, sir. Let Mr. me Mr. Percent. kill you. Mr. E has Mr. 68%, man. I mean, he's looking at that. Runs up, up tilt. <laughs> He's not out of the fight just yet. Yep. Right. still fighting on his tournament tournament stock. See if Ray can do something Ooh, about it. Oh, okay. Uh, that was breaker. actually smart. Very good. That's arguably the farthest she can reach out with her sword with an attack. So a good way to keep Ray back, who has been pretty grounded for a lot of his uh, ledge pressure. Yeah. When he's not going off in the edge guard. All right, Four. carrying it out, and it's even again. Yeah, Mister. I'm telling you, you just need that momentum shift. Hold on a second. Oh wait, Nicole's already go. got the Trump, has him off stage. Not gonna not gonna try to gamble to go off there because of warp. Yep. Trying to bait it out instead. Avoids the explosive flame Close by going for the jump just in case it went on top of him. Yep. Down, Down tilt at the ready. He was trying to two-frame him with that because I could easily set up into a forward air off stage, yep. applying you shield see pressure. That. You see with that these fall fair. Yes. Fall fair auto cancel into another fair to keep the shield pressure up. He does not want this man pressing buttons. 82% on mystery. E. Oh, he gets it! The back air off the platform. Second wind achieved. Yo. Mr. E, bring this to a game three situation. Ray is shaking his head. One game away from potentially resetting the bracket. Mm -hmm. Resetting the bracket and then taking it to an even grander finals. But we're not there quite yet. Mr. E still has a long way to go, and Utopian Ray is no slouch. Mm -hmm. so.
Let's see what the counter pick is. Pokemon PS2? Stadium 2, not shocked at all. One of Palutena's favorite stages of all time. Mm -hmm. Very long stage, longest out of legal stake pitches. Um, has a little bit of a jank with the underside of the stage, which arguably could make things a little bit interesting for recovery, but we will see. Uh, platform's good for her combos, especially because she likes to carry you off the stage. She can get follows up with uh, Fair. That is a single parry, but that's still stylish nonetheless. All right. Nair to Fair off stage, 50% in the first 10 seconds. All right, already. All right, so he did frame trap him. Well, not frame trap, but he trapped him there with the up tilt air dodge, but doesn't quite get a punish off of it. All right. That that looked like it was a punish. It maybe Ray had a frame or two there where he tried to do something, but E grabbed him out of it regardless. Oh, going for the hard kill. He wants his stock early. He's fishing for it. Right. Little parry flare there. Goes very hard. That does give up stage control to Palutena, which maybe isn't the best call, but he's got a little bit of percent to... Oh, he's just shot off. I see. Get back to the ground. Was Okay, that is punishable at that range. Gotta keep him airborne. Oh, crosses him up and then goes for the forward smash. Playing extremely patient. Gets him with the back air, clips the jump recovery. Nice job from Mr. E, and he has taken that first early stock. Now off stage against Palutena. All right, safe bear, fair. All right, works his way back to middle stage. Cap. And that still clipped him! Clips him yet again with an up air. <laughs> Ray on a rampage. Good lord, that thing is active. All right. Good parry, no follow-up out of it. Nair, Nair follow-up, actually drops out of the second hit. All right. Waiting him out. Playing Ooh. out neutral, goes for the... Okay, grab follows up, does get to trade his way out. Okay, very good. Dash attack is invulnerable on that shield. Very good for trading or flanking in general. Catches him back when he goes for the warp. Very good for Mr. E to fade away there. No jump, gets him when he air dodges back. That was a great auto reticle. Catches the down air on the um, warp. Onto the ledge, and now Mystery one stock away from resetting the bracket. That whole sequence didn't feel particularly aggressive, but the entire time he was like, nah, I know this option's gonna be here. You're yeah. getting punished for that. You're getting punished for that. That there will be a punish. Nice though. catch from Ray. One stock away from winning the tournament himself. All right. Very go. even. Actually trades there and then combos the trade into another up air. That was cool. Oh, those were not spa well spaced forward airs. Ray's gonna capitalize on it, bringing him to 50% damage already. Had to go for the double jump, try to avoid the follow-up. Gets caught mashing in the explosive flame with that neutral air. Off stage. Oh, does he have his jump? It raised where? Aware that he has no jumps, no resources. Oh my god, he just barely makes it. Dolphin slash off stage, 117%. He's looking for the explosive flame. He backs up to go for the explosive flame right there. Could have gone for a ledge guard situation, yeah. but chooses not to. He wants to play it a bit safe and gets him with the air. He catches the up air, sends him flying. Utopian Rage, your Xeno 151 champion, not allowing Mr. E to reset the bracket because that was scary for a second. You saw Mr. E having the lead that entire time, catching a second win, getting steam to work with, but just could not clutch it out. And that fadeaway up air, I feel like I've seen so many games ended, so many hearts broken by that. But that, that got, is that, such that a symbol right option. there, that goddess symbol, mm -hmm. there it is, man. I mean, that, there you go, that's a goddess first all, man. Kid, uh, Kid Icarus is only, Palutena, yet another Palu taking a W yep. here at uh, Zeno. And Utopian Ray with his first Zeno win, but Mr. E coming in clutch with the number Second two. place. That's still honestly his, fantastic. That's his highest placing since. I mean, there are a lot of heavy hitters here. You know, both Sinji and Venio were in attendance. Mm -hmm. uh, I know we were missing some players. I know Jen wasn't here, Frozen wasn't here, but that's still the phenomenal placing. 98 players. Nothing to, you know, you can write home about that. Uh, plus, got some money in your hands. Yo, got some absolutely. money to take home with that. Yo, and then on top of that, we had, like you'd said before, mm. an interesting bracket. Uh, Venya knocked out early. Uh, Bankai and Jewel really coming in high up into uh, top eight. Yeah. So this has been a show. It's it been has. a lot different. I'm so used to uh, quite a lot of Pac-Man, quite a lot of Palutena, but there was a lot of mix-up. It, was, it was definitely a mix-up. Well, guys, uh, we're going to get an interview 